what's up everybody welcome back nice to see you again and today we shall discuss on the difference between libra scorpio and sagittarius yes 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 what happens when we want to go from libra to scorpio and where we land up finally yes that is the topic of today welcome back to exotic astrology and if you have not yet subscribe to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up and if you want a consultation then approach me through my website and if you like this video then share it with everybody else and before i begin especially today when i speak of the signs of venus and mars uh, it is libra and scorpio and sagittarius of course the sign of the planet jupiter i must say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you to cross over scorpio from libra and go to the sign of sagittarius all right there you go so basically what is the sign of libra the sign libra represents the original seventh house seventh house represents our relationships our partners wait 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 then what's the eighth house see people do not understand the difference between the seventh house and the eighth house what's the difference both represent relationships yes 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 eighth house also it represents our inner circle our inner people who are very close to us those people are also represented by the eighth house yes 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 but the difference between the seventh and the eighth is seventh house although represents people but eighth house represents those people who we are extremely attached to those people without whom we cannot live because it's the house of the scorpion yes because the sign of scorpio is having that scorpion who catches you from both sides yes have you seen the sign of the zodiac sign scorpio how is it it's like a scorpion who is catching you from two sides and then it has that so basically what this means is that when we come into a relationship with somebody we are in the sign of libra yes the relationship has just started that's libra but then eventually when we get get attached to that person that leads us to the sign of scorpio and now see everything is related the sun surya the karaka for life gets debilitated in the sign of libra which means that to the degree we are indulging in the pleasures of the opposite sex yes 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 because libra represents the opposite sex either you are a male or a female it's the same you i and everybody will be frustrated yes those people who are indulging in matters of the opposite sex more than they should you see they are the most frustrated people on earth <laughs> and maybe even in the other planetary systems also that means when the uh, energy of venus is out of control by doing things not to mention here then we suffer and then what happens from libra we land into the sign of scorpio yes and that is why in this kal yoga scorpio is the most glorified holy sign yes nobody knows about other zodiac signs everybody knows about scorpio why is it yes because kal yoga is represented by this sign people will say that scorpio people are very sexual yes because that's their weakness yes they cannot live without sex because they are getting obsessed about it now i am not talking of those people who have sun in scorpio now do not write in the comments oh i have sun in scorpio i am not like this i am not talking of uh, any uh, particular class of people who have sun in scorpio moon in scorpio all right so sometimes people do not understand what is said in astrology videos even in my channel and in other channels sometimes i see somebody has made a video on some topic and then they will start writing in the comments oh what you are saying is not true na i have this i have that no like recently i made a video on planets in the 12th house then a person uh, wrote a comment that oh i have uh, this planet there in the 12th house i am not like this what you are saying that video was not about planets and what every planet does in the 12th house all right it was a video on 12th house in general it has nothing to do with planets all right 
so similarly this video is not about sun moon or lagna lord or ascendant or anything in scorpio or in libra or in uh, sagittarius it has nothing to do with your planets all right understand the nature of the zodiac signs first without that you cannot understand what your planets are doing because planets will come and behave like that zodiac sign if you do not know what the zodiac sign is how will you know what the planet will do and then you are going on interpreting results of the dasha oh this happened that happened it's simply foolishness all right so we have to understand the nature of the zodiac signs first so again i am giving a warning here this is not a video for somebody who has sun in libra or somebody who has sun in scorpio all right so if you write in the comments such useless arguments that oh i have this planet there this is there this, that, that is there what you are saying is not true i will simply ignore it i will not respond to the comment okay because you are not understanding what i am saying here so basically when we indulge too much in libra we land up in scorpio which means to the degree we are obsessed with the opposite sex to that degree we will have pain suffering sorrow misery discontent eighth house represents tears we will have tears in our life yes so that means when we are in the zodiac sign of scorpio when we reach the zodiac sign of scorpio we have to understand that it is like a junction where we have seen the reality of this material world as lord krishna says in the bhagavad gita dukhalayam ashashvatam napnuvanti mahatmana samsiddhim paramam gata which means that this material world is a place of misery oh my dear arjuna so that means that an intelligent person will not indulge too much in the zodiac sign of scorpio yes why scorpio even libra also now this does not mean that we cannot get married yes many people they have asked me so by hearing your videos we feel that we should not get married no no i have never said that marriage is one of the ashramas we can get married and we should get married in kali yuga actually yes some of us may be able to stay as uh, celibates in the ashram that's very good if you can do that but that does not mean everybody has to do like that yes so now scorpio is the junction where the soul is getting entrapped in suffering because scorpio is co ruled by ketu apart from mars that means that ketu is representing all the things of our past that is why wherever ketu is sitting that will represent all the things that we have been doing in our past lives or in other words let me put it this way ketu will represent all those areas about which we have been obsessed about which we have been focusing too much in our past lives yes so that is why the sign of scorpio gives us tremendous suffering because that is the sign where we have lost our connection with god to the highest level why i am saying that because from the ninth house it is the 12th house yes which means that ninth house which is the house of god gurus divinity spirituality enlightenment it is the loss of that house so that means if a person is indulging in things of libra or scorpio it is to be understood that unfortunately that, that person is not having any inquisitiveness for the higher truth tamaso ma jyotir gamaya mrityur ma sad gamaya that is not existing in the person as the shrimad bhagavatam says athato blam jigyasa enquire about the higher truth and the shrimad bhagavatam also starts with the first shloka where it says ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय जन्मादेशुभिस्वरार्थेने ब्रह्म हृदयादिकवे मुह्यती अत सूरया तेजो वारी मृद यथा विनिमस्तर्गो मृषा धाम स्वेन निरस्तकुहाक सत्यम पराम धीम दिस् इन शॉर्ट मीन्स दट प्लीज ट्राई टू गो टू गॉड this simply means that if i want to summarize the entire first shloka of the bhagavatam this simply means that all right so now what is the cure of scorpio people say that oh my scorpio has got activated this happened that happened there's a lot of fear and there is a lot of fear mongering which is going on that oh my god this planet is in scorpio this will happen that will happen you do not need to fear calm down <laughs> cool down chill out you only need to fear if you do not do what i am going to tell you now 
if you do not do this well then you will continue to be fearful not in this life life after life after life after life and this is not a threatening this is a ultimatum <laughs> and this is not an ultimatum by me i am not somebody to give you any ultimatum this is an ultimatum of the scriptures because the bhagavatam says that asakti will lead you to the highest level of suffering yes attachment have you seen people holding on to other people especially boys holding on to girls girls holding on to boys oh i will not let you go please don't go stay with me please 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 <laughs> so what we need to do is apart from being in the sign of scorpio now suppose we are landing in the sign of scorpio which means that there is something or somebody to which or to whom we have got attached then what we should do is or suppose scorpio also represents death so sometimes it happens that we love somebody and that person dies yes many times it happens or old age comes and that person leaves naturally yes so now what we should do is we should not go back to the sign of libra should i repeat we should not go back to the sign of libra we should try to go ahead the sign of scorpio and then go to the sign of sagittarius which means that suffering is a wake up call for taking to spirituality yes should i repeat suffering is a wake up call to take to a spiritual path that means the moment we are undergoing some kind of suffering that means now it is a wake up call from the universe from the nature from the divine whoever you call it from allah from jesus from jehovah <laughs> that now we take to spirituality this does not mean that you leave everything and you go to the forest but we need to find a guru and we need to find a scriptural uh, authority and then we need to find a spiritual path where we can find happiness and contentment fulfillment and joy in the divine yes being in this material world of course that does not mean that we go away from this material world but being in this material world we try to do that that will only give us the highest level of fulfillment otherwise suppose uh, recently one person contacted me so this is very interesting this person told me that oh i recently had a breakup okay with a girl so then he went to a psychiatrist <laughs> so then uh, he told me that i told that oh i had i had a breakup with this girl so what should i do i am very depressed then the psychiatrist told him that oh if possible now try to get back with one of your ex girlfriends <laughs> i was like i was like think i was thinking uh, this is like saying suppose i was uh, biting a chewing gum and i spit it out somewhere okay and after 3 years i go and uh, put that same rotten chewing gum in inside my mouth yes it's like saying that going and getting back with Uh, your ex girlfriend yes it's like saying that it means you are so desperate you are so helpless you are so miserable you are so depressed that you will get down to anything to feel that illusion again yes so then i said okay you may get back with your ex girlfriend there's no problem but what if again you have a breakup what will you do then then you will again get back with another of your ex yes and this system goes on because eighth house is the house of death and rebirth the moment you die you are born again yes so that means one desire ends and then another desire comes then another desire comes another desire comes so if you go back to libra which is relationships other people materialistic things of this world from the sign of scorpio the only thing you will get is suffering again because again you will come to scorpio suppose you had a breakup and then you go and find another person yes then you will again one day that person will leave you yes either that person will die when you have stayed together for 40 years or you may have a have a breakup or there can be an affair as i keep hearing in tv channels and news these days right so many affairs now this does not mean that if we have gone through a breakup we do not uh, find another person it does not mean that we may find another person that's perfectly fine with that yes we need somebody to stay with we cannot stay alone but that should not be our ultimate goal the moment we see that we are undergoing some serious level of suffering whatever reason it can be it can be due to our karma or due to the actions of other people or whatever you call it 
or God's will, whatever it is, we have to understand that this is just one instance. This will keep continuing again and again and again. So, intelligent person will not fall prey to the whims of the mind again. Yes. So, now this means that if we have uh, gone through a very serious uh, relationship trouble recently, so many people have been messaging me that, oh, I am having this problem, so please make a video. That is why I am making a video on this. Then we may find another person or we may even get back with our ex. No problem in that. But this time, let us ensure that we also start a spiritual path. All right. Otherwise, what if that thing happens again? How will you bear it this time? Yes. And if you undergo too many of these tribulations again, then one point will come. You will say, relationships don't work. I am frustrated with the opposite sex. And I know so many women who will uh, tell me there was recently one girl who was the age of i think 16 or 17 no? she said to me that all men are pigs and i was like how many men have you explored and encountered till the age of 16 that you have declared that out of 7 billion people all the maybe half no, three and half billion men they are pigs they are like dogs so this is what happens when you indulge too much yes then what happens the opposite sex they will come and enjoy your skin yes should i use that word skin yes and after they enjoy they will thrash you and then you will be smashed and then you will keep crying yes so let us be vigilant let us warn ourselves that let this not happen to me again all right so even if we get back with somebody that's perfectly fine or we enter a new relationship that is also okay but this time let us not make the mistake again of not getting close to god so then what we do, we get into a new relationship or with another person, but we also start a new uh, spiritual path. We start chanting the mantras, we start visiting the holy places, we start meeting gurus or enlightenment, uh, enlightened uh, seniors who can guide us, find a guru first of all, who can give us that power to sustain. And then we should also find a satsanga as in Sanskrit it is said, sata sangha. Sangha means association, sata means holy in the mode of goodness so that means we go and find holy people near our place wherever we are and then we go and associate with them in the weekends we go and ask questions to them about god about spirituality about what is this world why am i suffering that is one of the main questions of the gita that why am i suffering yes only gita answers that no other scientific book or any scientific any fictional novel can answer that question yes why are you suffering so we have to ensure that the mistakes that we have been doing lifelong, life after life after life, which is Scorpio, Ketu, rebirth, death, rebirth, we do not do the mistake again. And this is even true for people who are very happy in their material life. Because today you are happy, tomorrow that thing may be taken away from you. Yes, I see so many couples so happy posting selfies. Oh my God, what if something happens tomorrow? Then where will you go? <laughs> So there you go. Either you are happy in your material life or you are crying. It doesn't matter. It is a call, a wake up call for taking into some spiritual path. And then ultimately we have to find happiness in the divine, in God. Otherwise, all these things, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, these people will come and they will go. But Lord Krishna says in the Gita, Riddeshe Arjuna Tishthati Ishwara Sarva Bhutanam Riddeshe Arjuna Tishthati which means Oh Arjuna I am seated as Riddeshe Arjuna Tishthati means I am seated in the heart of every living being yes Am Vija Prada Pita I am the seed giving father of all living beings that is what God says Lord Krishna says that means that we have to understand that he is our ultimate protector. God is the only one who can give us protection, shelter, ultimately at the end. Yes. So either we are happy or we are miserable. Either we are in Libra or we are in Scorpio or in Sagittarius or any zodiac sign. <laughs> we should take to the sign of Sagittarius and try to follow spiritual practices diligently in a committed manner. And then we should get happiness and enlightenment. And finally, we have to seek delight in spirituality. 
yes that is the only solution so there you go from libra to scorpio to sagittarius all right so this is what i wanted to say either you are in libra or you are in that fear mongering sign of scorpio or you are in the divine sign of enlightenment like sagittarius let us not forget that god is the only one who can give us happiness at the end yes because in the scriptures it is said raso vaisaha that means that the absolute truth is the epitome he is the emblem the reservoir of all happiness raso vaisaha that is what we need to understand all right i hope no offense to this video through through this video to anybody all right until next time if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up and if you want a consultation then approach me my details are there below and if you like this video share it with others and tomorrow with another new video okay until next time wish you good luck bye bye